check the version of InfraCost by running infracost-version. You can also use InfraCost upgrade command to upgrade the InfraCost version, but this is the latest one which I'm using. Once that's done, you should create a free account on InfraCost Cloud and then get the API key from there. Let me show you how to do that. Go to infracost.io and then create a free account with your email address. Once that's done, go to org setting at the top and then go to general on the left and then you will see that there is an API key for you. You can copy it by clicking here or you could click to show that key. Once you copy the key, go back to your terminal and then set your environment variable. And the environment variable should be infra cost underscore API underscore key. And then issue this command. Infra cost configure set API key and then your environment variable. And I have found out that if you use this environment variable, then it make uh, then the infra cost is able to recognize that variable within your environment. So first configure this key. So that is done. Now make sure that you are in your Terraform project directory where all of your Terraform templates are so that you could estimate the cost. So I'm already in my Terraform directory where I have various Terraform files. And now in order to estimate the cost, all you need to do is to issue this command intra cost breakdown and then the path is a current directory. Press enter. Now it is downloading the Terraform modules, evaluating and you can see that it has estimated the total cost to be 88 and it has also given you some of the breakdown as instance usage, what sort of instance is that, M5 large, on demand, storage, I'm using GP2. And then also it is telling you how many cloud resources it detected and then how many it estimated, how many were free. So and it, you can also run it with show skip to see that detail because it doesn't include the free resources okay so another thing you could do with it is to instead of putting putting the output in this format you can output it in the json format and in order to do that you can run this command let me clear my screen then give uh, show you the json format command so again the same command infra cost breakdown dash dash path dot and the format is JSON and I'm redirecting the output to this infra cost dash base or base dot JSON file. So let's run it. So output save to this file and if I get this file quickly for you. So it's all JSON format. Let's clear my screen. This is great. Now one more thing you could do with infra cost is to compare the cost after making changes. So right now, if I show you my Terraform file, all I'm doing is I'm using the instance type M5 large. And as you saw, my cost was around $88 or something like that. Let's change it to M5 X large. Or maybe let me show you first again how this looks like with M5 large. I'm again running the intro cost breakdown in the current directory. So it is $88. Now change this to M5X large, save it, and then run this again. And remember that current is $88. I'm running it with the double instance size. Now it is $176. So, okay, so this is one thing. Now let's keep it like this. And if you remember, we had saved the earlier output in the JSON format. We can even compare the difference between my current size. Maybe I will uh, say it 2x large. So this is my current size and I had saved my M5 large instance in the JSON format. Let's compare both of these to see which one makes sense in terms of cost. For that, the command is 
Let me clear my screen first. Command is infra cost difference dash dash path current. So whatever is now current which is 2xlr and I'm comparing it to my JSON file format. So let's run it. Okay, so now let me make it a bit bigger. The monthly cost change is from $89 to it is showing with 351. So 89 was my initial one, which is was 88.56. It has just rounded it off. And now when I moved it to 2x large, the percent increase is 297%. And then it is also telling me from the Terraform plan what was changed and how many were free and how many were estimated. So as you can appreciate, before provisioning anything, you can not only see the total changes, but also resource by resource as what exactly is being changed. So before even provisioning anything from within your terminal, you can cost estimate your Terraform resources. And this is just on the local machine. You can use infra cost cloud to integrate your Git repos or any Bitbucket repos, GitHub, GitLab repos with um, infra cost cloud. And then you can use this on your pull request and infra cost gets integrated with your online repositories to cost estimate your Terraform um, templates. So it also can come very handy in terms of GitOps where you can integrate it with your GitOps pipeline and there are various integration and very easy to configure if you sign up for the infra cost cloud and there is also i guess a couple of weeks trial version which you can use to play around with it i hope that you like infra cost and appreciate it because if you are using terraform so that's it for this video if you have any comments or feedback please put them down the below the video thank you